All right, so in this video, we're gonna be walking through how can you calculate the minor allele frequency for a single nucleotide variant. And so these are commonly abbreviated as MAF and SNV. And so we're gonna walk through a question because I think that's a great way for us to learn this. So basically, we're told that we have a single nucleotide variant that comes in A and T flavors, which is another way of saying we've got two alleles for this gene. And after genotyping 10,000 people, researchers have found that 6,000 of these individuals are homozygous and 2,000 are heterozygous for the A allele. And we wanna know what is the minor allele frequency? And so the very first thing you gotta do here is figure out, you know, is the A allele or the T allele variant uh, the actual minor allele? And so the very first thing that uh, you do to solve this problem is the following. So, First, list out all the genotypes that we can have. So we can have AA, AT, and TT variants. And so these are the genotypes. And so the data that we've been given in this problem statement says we've got 10,000 individuals, and we're told that 6,000 of them are of this homozygous variant. And I've also got 2,000 that are of this uh, heterozygous variant. And so the question that we can first ask is, if we know that uh, we've got 6,000 and 2,000 already known, what can we say about the remainder, assuming there's only three possibilities here? And so in that case, we know, or we can deduce, that there must be 2,000 of the homozygous variants of the T flavor for this gene that we're interested in. Now what we can do is we can perform the following calculations. So uh, count the number of alleles. So I'll do allele count. And in this case, we're gonna look at these two. So we've got A for the A flavor. And so in this one, we're gonna have 6,000 times two is coming from this guy plus 2,000 times 1 and the reason that this one is 2 is because being a homozygous pair it's a pair so there's two of them and this heterozygous pair there's only one of them so that's the reason why we're doing it that way so we're gonna know that 6 times 2 is 12 plus 2,000 so what we end up with is 14,000 of the a alleles exist in this population of 10,000 that we've looked at. And for the T variant, we're going to have the following. So we're going to have 2,000 times 1, and we're also going to have the 2,000 times 2. And so this guy came from that, and this guy came from that. And so doing the math here, we're going to see that we've got 2,000 plus 2 times 2 is 4, so 2 plus 4 is equal to 6,000. And we can see how this sum is equal to 20k. It's a nice way of just checking your math to make sure you're not crazy when you're doing this. And so now that we know what the allele count is for the two flavors of the gene in our population, we can actually calculate the minor allele and we can first identify what the minor allele is. So basically, the minor allele is whichever one of these there are fewer of. And so in that case, we can see that our minor allele is this T. And when we do the math, we can just plug and chug. So we know we've got 6,000 divided by 20,000 total. And this is equivalent to 30% or 0 0.3. So 30% is equal to the minimum allele frequency in this population. And if you're ever working with alleles in which you have more than two. So like if there were three variants, like in theory you could have four total variants because it could be A, T, G, or C. But in this case, we only had two. But if you had three, your minor allele frequency is the second most common one. So after you calculated the number of alleles in your genotyped population, you look to whichever one is the second greatest, and then you will calculate your MAF based on that. So that is going to wrap things up for this video. I hope it helps, and thank you all for watching.